Oh my god, guys, it's so good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. What's going on guys? Welcome to this new video series I'm doing, this little trying something different, right? Where I want to go through, I got a little script, I know my talking point, but basically go through a lot of um, various products, either meal services, you know, like HelloFresh, Factor Meals, uh, Clean Eats. So those are some of the meal services. There's more like Daily Harvest, uh, Trifecta that I plan to try. I'm also going to be doing like healthier or alternative style like snacks. Today's Magic Spoon, this is not sponsored. I just see so much like hype around a lot of these products that I'm gonna be trying and does it really live up to that? Right? I'm guessing you guys see it too on Instagram, uh, TikTok, YouTube, right? There's all these ads that just, oh my gosh, this product's so good. But you know, like, mmm, oh my God, guys, it's so good. Mmm, mmm. Is it really that good? So these videos are gonna focus on my real opinion, right? And how it actually tastes. Uh, I'll probably go over stuff like cost, uh, the packaging, I'll look at the website. There's also gonna be another like extras style channel that I'm planning to start, or I'll just create it as another series. But that's for a different time, different video. Magic Spoon, what is it, right? So it's a keto friendly cereal. Zero sugar, four grams of net carbs, 13 grams of protein, several different flavors. I got a variety box, so there's a subscription, uh, not subscription, there's on their website, you can find uh, different boxes, you can buy the cereal per box. Um, they also have these little, uh, looks like protein bars, I'm backwards, whoops. These little protein bars as well. So they sent those with me with my box that I purchased. Um, these are, this one's open, a couple of them are open. I did not try them, my wife tried them, she couldn't, she couldn't wait. Um, I did have them for like a week, so I was like, go ahead, try it, but I can't try it until I do this video. This one has eight grams of fat. Like I was saying, I just said the carbs. This one has, this one has seven grams of fat, four grams net pro, four grams carbs, 12 protein, this one, five net carbs, 13 protein, eight grams of fat, right? So they're all slightly different, but about around 140, 150 calories, one cup uh, is a serving. So this product, this cereal, what they're going for, right, is you're on, you're on your diet, right? You're doing keto, but you still want that crunch. You still want that sweetness that you can't have when you uh, eat the, you know, you can't have Fruit Loops, right? You can't have uh, Cocoa Puffs, Peanut Butter, or Peanut Butter, Rice Chris, Reese, Chris, Reese, 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 Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puff Cereal, whatever that cereal is called. You can't have that, that cereal is delicious, but you can't, right? So you get this style cereal as an alternative, so it does the job, right? I'm not comparing this to, does it taste like Fruit Loops? Does it, is it as, is it as good or better than Fruit Loops or is it as good or better than, um, like I said, the Captain Crunch or, or whatever the cereal that is probably trying to imitate. It's, you know, does this kind of live up to the hype? Is it good? Let's get to trying it. Starting out with the fruity flavor. It's got the different colors. You can tell it's a different texture. That one's definitely good. I like this one. Taste again. I wasn't supposed to compare it to like fruity pebbles or fruity, uh, fruity, fruity fruit loops, fruit loops, but that one's pretty good. Good taste. It's definitely not as sweet, obviously, but that's good. Probably shouldn't pour as much. I'm probably shouldn't be eating that much because. I got a lot, I got quite a few cereals to be tasting, but that's one, I like it. That one's good. All right, let's move on. I'll go from cinnamon roll. It's definitely got like a powder coating on this one, but strong smell of cinnamon. I 
one's good too. I like this one. That's good. That one, that's a good one. Probably what I'll do too. I'm trying to, I'm gonna try to rank my favorites. Alright, so there's that one. Now I'll start doing some shifting. Right here. We got frosted. Oh man. Slide you over. You over here. Oh crap. Ah oh, crap. You over here. This over here. Give me this. Fruity's been tried as well. Swap them. Alright, we'll find a better uh, approach in a different video, but. Alright, here we go. What's this one? Frosted. Let's try some frosted out. No smell to it. It's good, but it's good, but very, very um, like light flavoring. Or I don't know what the word I'm looking for, but there's it's like a subtle. There it is subtle hint of the like frosted like vanilla type flavoring you can taste in this um uh, probably my least favorite so far but it's still good i mean i still like it i still eat this bowl and i probably eat the box so that one's good this one is the weirdest looking one by far cocoa it's like they sprayed on the chocolate uh the chocolate on the on the o's or i don't even know man they sprayed something on these things but See how it tastes. Smells chocolatey. I should be picking these bowls up, but it's fine. Similar to the last one. I wonder if this left with any chocolate milk though. That'd be good if it gives you chocolate milk. Um definitely good, but not as much of a chocolatey flavor as uh, as what it would look like you would get. Um, whoops. Still, this one's probably better than the frosted, but still below the the cinnamon and the fruity. Let's go on to the blueberry. Very strong blueberry smell. Super strong. Oh, sorry. Blueberry muffin is what this one is. Blueberry muffin. It's pretty good. It tastes like a blueberry muffin. This might be better than the cinnamon, but not better than fruity. Fruity is the best so far. That and cinnamon are pretty close. Let's go for the last one. Peanut butter. Wow. Who doesn't love peanut butter? It smells like peanut butter. It's not bad. It's good. It gets better. The initial, the initial taste is protein, like peanut butter protein bar type taste. Um, if you've had, obviously, like a peanut butter protein bar, you know what that. Right there, that initial taste. You know what that peanut butter. Um, what do I don't want to say. It's like not an off taste right away, but. It's just, uh, you can add peanut butter protein bars, it's that flavor, it's that taste. I don't know how to clean it later now. And there's that lingering aftertaste. About six chews in, you're good. If it's tasting like peanut butter, and you swallow it, and you get that aftertaste, it goes back to that, goes back to that peanut butter protein bar flavor. Not my favorite one. It's not bad, but, um, that might be 
might be the lowest one on my on my what I like, right? I'm going with fruity for the best. Fruity is my favorite. Then we're gonna go. Mmm, do I wanna go? I'm gonna go blueberry for number two. Actually, it should probably be like this. So, number one, number two, number three, and then these peanut butter last. Cereal is my favorite. Then we have blueberry, cinnamon, then frosted, then cocoa, then peanut butter. But I would say I would probably buy these again. Um, I don't know if I'd buy the variety box because the fact that I would mostly eat these, probably this, but I wouldn't eat those two. Um, I don't know if I'd eat the whole box of those. I'd probably eat the whole box of this, but not the not the peanut butter. So to me. It definitely lives up to that uh, that hype. Uh, if you are wanting to eat cereal and you need to maintain your diet or your keto diet, right? Oh, if you like little games, there's games on the back of each box too. So I don't really know if you really care about that, but there's games on the back one if you want to enjoy that. That is it for this video. I think it is worth it. Like I said, I do like them. Um, so the video format, all that type of stuff will probably change as I do more of these and I get some feedback from you guys. But I'll also put the, the cost. I wanna put the cost. Um, and actually, that's gonna be in a blog. So there's gonna be a blog post for all these review videos. I hope to do these once, you know, weekly, but also throw on meal prep videos. Let me know what you guys thought. Make sure to like, comment. Uh, any feedback you guys have is super helpful. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one.